Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through an automated workflow that connects physics-based simulation with AI-driven prediction. It starts with Comsol Multiphysics model that exports simulation data using a custom Java method. That data is then passed to a Python deep learning model via a simple batch script. No manual steps in between. The goal here isn't just like automation, but making simulation and prediction part of a seamless integrated process. Now, this is a advanced technique. Honestly, I developed it myself. So you can modify it according to your need. And I think this is quite a powerful way to automate your workflow. So maybe you are working on a project that involves multiple tools. So you are doing processing or data analysis in some other way. In all these cases, this will be very useful. So it starts with the simulation data and then you export the data and after you export you can actually run it via some python packages for example pytorch or any other package to get your analysis done now one advanced technique that i will show you is to actually execute a script for example a bat file in windows now if you can able to execute a bat file in windows that opens up new possibilities to talk to different tools, scripts, Python packages, and uh, basically anything else that supports scripting. So if you need your exported data to process your result or use it as a input for a different model or a different process in your project, I think this is really useful. Not only that, um, you open up a new way to interact with your data seamlessly. If your workflow supports scripting so let's see how we are actually doing it so basically we are using the software to generate the data in my case i'll generate a csv data then via java method i'll save the csv file automatically and it will execute a batch file for me it's a bat file in windows and then i will automatically run a predictive model and generate the output so for this demonstration um, i just have a very simple file so with a only a few data maybe a hundred data points or so just to show you so i'll execute the code and uh, you will see how we are able to generate the graphs so we are now in console so what i've done i have added a method right and i have my simulation results in my components and then i have a evaluation group where i'm evaluating few of the results for the work it could be anything depending on what topic you are working right now, if I open my folder, you will see that there is nothing, only my Python code and the bat file that I'm executing via the Java method. So if I now click on the run button, what it will do, it will export the data from the evaluation group. It will save the CSP file. It will then uh, arrange the file properly to run my deep learning framework and it will then try to predict the result for some unknown parameter so basically the model is getting trained from the simulation result and then trying to predict a graph right so if i now run this it's done right because i have a small data set now if i close and open this you'll see that the csp file is exported from the evaluation group and then my data is arranged and then I have my predictive output. Now, if I click on the previews, you can see I have my predicted graph as well, as well as the other data, right? So since I'm actually executing the Python file, I have a wide range of possibility what I can do. So for example, you can see I opened the graph now since the model is actually trained using very less data as you can see my predicted result is still quite close to the actual simulated result from my software so all this is done in python from the exported data from console multiphysics now of course in console you also have the surrogate model and stuff that you can try but i think this gives a bit more flexibility because as you know, uh, Python have a wide library of various packages uh, 
for various tools that may be useful for you. So that's it. I hope this video helps. Um, I think people who are working on advanced model might get benefited from this. Um, so use this uh, idea. It may help a uh, few of you who are working on advanced model and require some heavy post-processing or data prediction algorithm that you want to run outside the software. So that's it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.